Dudes, welcome to the first full moon universe of 2023. It's March 14th. I can't believe I've waited three months to do this. But, you know, we had to kind of plan the year out. We have a whole slew of movies we're making. I had a little eye surgery. have to wear these glasses. You know, things happen. But we're going to do this probably twice a month now. And, I mean, I could spend 20 minutes telling you stuff, but we're supposed to do it under nine minutes. So here it goes. First, productions. We have literally six movies in pre-production now, all going to be shot at our amazing facility in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, first one coming up literally in two weeks is Demonic Toys Jack Attack. Yes, it's going to be another Billy Butler mad movie, um, sparing no expense with death and weirdness and teeth and biting. Um, and uh, as I'm talking, you may see an image or two, but that's very exciting to us. We also have a very cool... Uh, a Jack Attack, a Jack in the Box toy coming out uh, in probably six or eight weeks. We have a, an amazing lineup of, of toys and, and action figures and, and blind box series and cool stuff. And next week, I'm going to reveal uh, the Baby Oopsie replica. It's our first replica that is super high-end. Um, we spent crazy money. It's not cheap. It's going to be $299, uh, but I'll show it to you, and we're going to start taking pre-orders next week because... Again, we can only afford to make so many of these, so we made a relatively small batch, and we're going to start taking pre-orders pre next week, and I think they come in three or four weeks later. So that's Baby Oopsie and Jack Attack, and uh, back to movies. Then, of course, after Demonic Toys, we're going to make Puppet Master Furnace Leech Woman. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that at the end of this, uh, this vidcast, but needless to say, it's our 13th, I hope I'm right, 13th Puppet Master entry. Uh, we have a fantastic team assembled. Courtney Joyner is writing the script. Courtney and I work together on movies like Dr. Mordred and Puppet Master 3. So we have a phenomenal writer. And that's coming up in frickin' May. I mean, we're, we're on a really amazing roll with these features. There are others, but those are the two I wanted you guys to know about. Then um, Subspecies uh, Blood Rise is finally finished. And exciting news there. First of all, we're going to premiere it at Horror Hound on the 25th of March. I'll be there, and the whole cast will be there. Andres Hove, Denise Duff, Ted Nicolau, the uh, writer-director who's made all the subspecies uh, movies. It took 26 years <laughs> to be able to uh, afford to make this film. You know, we work on cash flow here, and I thought one day when we can afford it, let's make an amazing subspecies movie. This is more of a prequel. And we shot it in Serbia. It was a big production for us and uh, really proud of it. So we're going to have a little sneak premiere at the Horror Hound Convention on March 25th. And I'm super looking forward to people seeing it. And then the most exciting news, I think, is we have a theatrical release for Subspecies Blood Rise on May 15th through Alamo Draft House. We're going to be in 30 to 40 cities. Uh, May 15th is the date. That's locked in stone. As soon as we know some of these cities, we'll let you all know. But it's a thrill to actually have the movie premiere uh, on the big screen, <laughs> even for a day. So look forward to that. And then probably a little later in May, we'll have it out on streaming and uh, all the usual stuff. So uh, I'll let you guys know when I know more about the cities. We're also going to be doing something cool. Uh, we're just now inventing it, but we're going to have, hopefully at every city, someone from Full Moon or a Full Moon rep or a fan helping us with some giveaways some merch. I just thought it'd be great to do something more than just, okay, the movie gets screened. We're also cooking up a special preview, something that will precede the movie. Not sure what that's going to be, but will involve Ted Nicolau and Andres Hovind and these stuff, the amazing cast of the film. So look forward to that. That will be an exclusive thing ahead of the movie on May 15th. And now finally, I've really been looking forward to introducing something to you dudes. It's sort of off script. It's not a movie. It's not a toy. It's something that uh, we invented called The Fortune Teller. Mystical. Magical. Mysterious. Introducing The Fortune Teller. Your personal passport to the unknown. Pulsing with the powers of the cosmos. Ask your question. Push the button. After reading your mood, the fortune teller will guide you. Yes, but proceed with caution. Featuring over 100 responses from the spiritual realm. The fortune teller, now available. Yes, it's kind of a super duper souped up magic eight ball. I'm going to try to take it out without 
without doing that, making a mess. Hard to describe it. It's the size of an iPhone. It's very heavy. It's beautifully crafted with um, all this etching. It's metal. It's not a piece of plastic. And let me explain what it is. I, I've always felt uh, in a world where it's fun to get answers when you don't really have any or you're thinking in the morning, what am I going to do? Am I going to be successful? Am, am I going to win the lottery? Is the girl going to call me? Is the guy going to call me? So the Magic 8 Ball is fun, but it has very limited answers. So what we invented here is called the Fortune Teller. And what it is is a device that is tuned to your mood, much like a mood ring. So when you touch the, the, this button here, it kind of reads your mood. And then, of course, you got to ask a question, and it gives you an answer. We worked with a mentalist. We have uh, over 100 answers. They're really cool. And even though, you know, you have to believe to make this function, um, you know, there's not a lot of science. It's really more of a mystical thing, much like tarot cards. You know, uh, tarot cards are also something that if you believe in it, it may give you some amazing answers. This thing is sort of off the charts when it comes to how cool it gets, especially if you ask a series of questions and especially if you're with three or four people. Uh, we've done some testing. This is just now available. It's just now premiering. And I'm going to attempt to show you guys exactly what happens. Ask your question. All right. So, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to put my finger lightly on it. And my question is, are people going to love subspecies blood rise? foresee a yes. Now, this wasn't a fake. We didn't cut away to the right thing. That is the answer. So yay. I'm so happy about that. Anyway, this thing is super cool. It's 90 bucks. And what we're doing, just to kind of make this super juicy for you guys, is you go to the link and purchase it for $90. And you guessed it. We're going to give you <laughs> Furnace Leech Woman, the last roll of these. We're never make them again. Uh, someone literally burns these and does these individually. This is not something that comes out of a machine. It's a combination of uh, putting it together as a puppet, the costume, and then burning the crap out of Furnace Leech Woman. So it's probably a $200 item. I promise before we're never going to sell it, and we won't. So you buy yourself a fortune teller, which I think you'll super duper appreciate. You'll have fun with. Um, you have to touch it and feel it and play with it and ask questions for you to get the vibe. But for $90, you can't go wrong, and you get what's probably a $200 replica. I've seen these on eBay now, a few of them for $500, which I feel bad about because we've only given them away free. Anyway, that's it. We'll wrap it up. Next week, I'm going to be giving away a few things for free, literally, with the trivia question, which we used to do uh, until December. Uh, and that's it. I'm, I'm glad to reconnect I'm looking forward to meeting all you guys at the Har Hound, whoever shows up over there. I'll be there with the cast. And that's it. Ciao.